the stock market, meaning companies, new highs. I'm not fucking leaving. The show goes on. An online network called Internet. Well, it's very hip to be on the Internet right now. Welcome, my degenerates. The rest of your life starts right now on Market Mania. The no bullshit approach to Bitcoin, political betting, and the largest casino in the world. The thing we've all been focused on the last couple weeks here, the U.S. stock market. Today, mask off. Market Mania mailbag returns again. Coinbase going to the direct list on NASDAQ. Google earnings coming up, big news usually. Silver and physical divergence from the paper. You know, that's going to be towing the producer. And today, lead story, Market Mania, was the revolution canceled? GME, that chart looked a lot different 25 minutes ago, Matt Glance. That was a lot different of a chart. It was just 85 and despair. Now we're at 143. That's the bounce. We need to have JC's point out the bounce to play right now. It future. doubled from like 45 minutes ago. It was down to 74. I was, I was watching it. I actually did some trades in it today. Um, point out the bounce. It Do literally that. doubled in Show 45 me the minutes. Bounce. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, um, Brett? That'd be perfect right here. Part, yeah. of, part of the boost there is because uh, Robinhood and some other firms restri- uh, unrestricted their trading limits on on GameStop, like raised oh, it from like I don't know five shares or twenty shares or something yeah, like that. Just the a coincidence. Reason. As soon as the stock goes back to eighty, oh now you guys can trade it again. <laughs> well, if you think about it, it's because five shares at two hundred dollars is a thousand dollars, where f- uh, twenty shares at eight at eighty dollars is you know, or ten shares of eighty dollars, eight hundred dollars. So the lower the stock goes, the more shares they will allow people to buy because of the net price in their accounts. That makes sense. It makes a little too much sense for Diamond's hand, so, Diamond I'm Hands sorry. Richie over here. I'm sorry that it makes sense. It must be conspiracy. You All called right. that bounce, Wait. Mike, on, by the way. On I, got it on, I got it on wax. I got it on wax. It's on Twitter. You can see it right then and there. And yeah. Hey, Matt, your, your explanation is breaking a lot of hearts. Uh, Look at Wall Street bets here. They've got a whole chart on how they're being manipulated, all these different cells, these stops. And at every point, they say, well, this is this guy doing it. This is Etor triggering this. This is nice. this guy selling out yeah. batches. And nice. I think you're I, uh, bursting a bubble here. So, guys, this is just like Trump. Got, you know, the election was stolen and it rigged and, and, the, and the suitcases. And, you know, it's guys, you can find anything you want on the internet. People can make shit up, make it, make you think it, it is something. It's not manipulation. Stocks go up and down based on supply and demand. If I think this, if I think GameStop is expensive at three hundred, and I'm shorting it. I'm shorting it because I think I can buy it back lower. That's what hedge funds are doing. They're not manipulate. It's not manipulating it. They just that's a trade. You're just gambling. What about when Robinhood cuts off the access? Like Brett said, now you can't buy. You can't ape into it. Wall Street bets eight million strong. They can't do it. It doesn't it matter. It didn't it, have a big enough bankroll. I don't think people realize some hedge funds were long at that time too. Some were short. Some were long. So may, much of this move in GameStop going from forty to three hundred or four hundred was was also hedge funds getting long. There's smart hedge funds that are winning both directions. So when when Robinhood cuts the trading off, it's because of their own risk to, the risk tolerance or risk measures. The clearinghouse cuts them off. It's not because they want the stock to go up or down. They can, Robinhood could care less where the stock goes. It's like, you know, I mean, there was the Wall Street bets guys talk a lot about risk tolerance, okay, about personal risk tolerance. So you're saying that this was too hot for Robin Hood. And for some reason, it has to do with the T plus two settling, right? So they always have like Delta or something out of pocket. Let 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 me add this. Today, just today, like about an hour ago, the Cash App, everyone knows the Cash App on, I don't know, it's like one of the iPhone's most downloaded apps. They restricted trading in GameStop and and uh, AMC today about an hour ago. They, they don't, it's not going to determine where the stock moves. They they did it because their their risk measures. They were going, you know, they they were, were at risk yeah, of being insolvent if something happened with one of these stocks. So they had to cut it down. To say it's not going to change where the stock moves, I don't know necessarily know about Cash App, but for Robinhood, it certainly changed where the stock went on Thursday or whenever they restricted trading. Okay. Fifty or sixty percent of Robinhooders were holding GME. 
the result of what Robinhood does because they're so big will affect the stock, but that's not their intention. That's not their concern. Their concern is is not becoming insolvent. I wonder why, if somebody has cash covered shares, then you just can't buy more. I, I just don't understand how that can make. They don't a- want that cat out of the bag, oh. man. They want everyone on margin. And, and, and I think in retrospect, the move is to shut off new accounts and like raise capital more quickly than it Here, here's, did. Guys, here's the important yeah. things, the important bullet points. Robinhood fucked up. They should have saw this coming. That's their job. That's their business. That's their risk police should have seen this coming. They should have been more. Uh, they should have had more cash on the balance sheet. They didn't. They fucked up. They had to shut down. Stocks went down because of it. People got fucked. It's Robinhood's fault, but it was not some nefarious uh, coordinated effort by hedge funds and Robinhood. That's just the truth. Okay, guys? Yeah. Citadel didn't do it. They just invested in Melvin. They wanted this shit to happen. You don't think they could throw a monkey in the wrench there? They just wouldn't, right? It's like, why risk it? If you're Citadel, this is ir- GameStop is just irrelevant to Citadel. Does this cost Robinhood billions of dollars in their IPO yeah. upcoming? They're, yeah. so they, so they actually just canceled their IPO. They're not going to. They're not going to list very soon. GameStop halted one twenty nine ninety eight and halted right now on Tuesday. This is February second. The revolution does continue. A quick scan of Wall Street bets. The heads are hung low in the autistic corner of the Reddit today. Tony. Silver was a brief little side tangent of this revolution the last couple of days. What's going on in that market, both paper and physical, please? Well, Matt, I know you may not think there's manipulation on the GME side, but when it comes to silver, it's unquestionable. The (laughs) price of premiums has gone through the roof. Look at that, $44 for an ounce of silver, but SLV is trading at... 24. So what what have I been saying for the last two weeks? All they ever do is print extra contracts to create fake supply and drive down the price of SLV. So this is clear. This is beyond question. So I wonder now if the uh, Selective Enforcement Committee is going to do anything about this. Of course they aren't. Uh, you know, and earlier in the week I was incorrect. I said JP Morgan was the biggest holder of some of these short positions in SLV. They quietly changed their position to the longs. So JP Morgan's making money on SLV longs and uh i don't i don't know how we get out from under this really i mean the best way is just buy physical silver and uh store it i've been saying that all week i'm sick of being a broken record but this to me is clear market manipulation and matt i'd be open to push back on that but i've been watching this for a while it's just so filthy to me Can you this, turn- is just, this just reminds me of the whole trump fraud argument there's no proof you, you just don't say you, you say it's without question, it's, it's fraud or, or it's manipulation, but there's no evidence. Well, how do you explain like, that spread? Even make That's, I'm okay. curious about the spread. Guys, when when people sell silver eagle coins online, it's a, it's a supply and demand thing. It has nothing to do with the price of silver other than the fact that if there's no if there's no demand, then they're going to sell it at the supply price, you know, of, of like wherever silver is trading. But people are willing to pay more because people are stupid. So you raise the price online. It has nothing to do with the price of silver. So you're saying well, SLV is like the real price and the physical price is inflated in your body. 100%. Uh-oh, uh, gotta, that's nonsense to me, man. But uh, we got to talk about Google Biden here. Silver is a $1.5 trillion market. Who's going to who's gonna manipulate a $1.5 trillion market? Who has Anyone that fire? Who wants to, baby. Go buy the, silver. Yeah, Let's do banks this. Banks and hedge funds. Not, they're All trying right. to do the little yes. man. Ace, you are going to battle any werewolves or think that the store of value will be silver. Go out and buy some silver. All right. Matt Glantz, Google earnings coming up. This oh, used Google. to be what financial shows were about, earnings seasons, but instead yeah. it's all been internet autism recently. The tism. So I wanted to bring up Google earnings. Yesterday I talked about Amazon earnings coming up today after the close. Today's uh, also going to be Google. I wanted to mention Google because – Everyone thinks of cloud services as Amazon Web Services. Well, Google just got in the game a year ago, and basically, analysts—that's their one number they're looking at for earnings. I mean, Google earnings are pretty much, pretty much standard. You know, there's no big surprises ever. But we're looking for a big number out of the cloud services. I think they—they're looking at like four billion in revenue for this quarter, for the fourth quarter, and if they can grow that, because I think Amazon's, uh, you know, profit. 
their margin on, on web services is so huge, 30 or 40%, that if Google can capture a part of that market, Google could have a big day tomorrow. So I think it's mostly based on web services. I like that a right. lot. I've used AWS a fair amount, and I agree they have uh, somewhat of a monopoly in like certain areas, but Google has the scale and infrastructure to compete with that. And so if that margin is quite high, I mean, Google is just a natural competitor to bring that margin down and, and the customer wins in that scenario. So and Google wins, too. So it uh, makes sense to me. Google, one of the trillion dollar entities that runs your life in the current dystopia we experience, uh, which is actually not the terrible one. Honestly, the services are fan fucking tastic. I mean, really, they are. And, and when you, you, you tell about web services, you always think about Amazon. No one thinks of Google. So, and you know, Google's got got a lot of good talent behind them, good money, good talent. So we'll see if they can compete with with Amazon. Massive war chest, like really, Apple, Amazon, Google. I'm not putting Facebook in there because they're still on the kid table in that group in my in my head. But those are the those are the entities that run your fucking life. Like you know, win or lose, True. like it or hate it. They just, you can't live without them. And you I got, you got to put Facebook in there for a lot of people, at least. Fuck Instagram, Facebook. you know, I mean, yeah, sure. Because but... you're not a fucking vapid piece of shit. And then, you know, you don't need WhatsApp because you got Signal. And then Facebook, who's been on that in the last two years? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, I'm I get saying. it. But a lot of people, probably you hundreds of millions YouTube of people. Out of Google, you know, just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. I, mean, I would like to own Instagram, and, and they own it. People like the breakup value of Google and Facebook, by the way. Yeah. Whenever antitrust talk, that shit goes up because everybody yeah. wants a little piece because everybody's an idiot, and it'll be worth I more. Don't even know. I think uh, there's a lot of good properties under both of those companies, so I don't, Trilli I don't think Trilli Trilli that Trilli Trilli. You're, obviously, you're obviously right. Coinbase, direct listing, not going IPO so that it doubles and then some iBanker profits 112 million and then goes eats a $1,500 steak for lunch. Okay, they're doing direct listing. So the employees and those fat cats over at Coinbase get all the money. So Brian Armstrong can buy two boats. All right. That's why you direct list. Uh, Brett, what's happening with it? Yeah, I mean, they it's it's coming. I know I've said before that like the three main IPOs are Roblox, Coinbase and Robinhood. Someone in the chat, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm missing one. Robinhood's implosion is really good for Coinbase. Obviously, they're sort of indirect competitors to direct competitors. They really focus on retail trader. Obviously, Coinbase is crypto, whereas Robinhood's mostly stocks. Uh, supposedly, I think there's another tweet in here that they were Two weeks ago, they were going to come out at a 25 million valuation. It's already up to 50. I think a fair amount of that can be attributed to Robinhood. It may be undesensitized by the amount of money printing and all these stocks. It just, if to me, it feels like a $100 billion company. Robinhood, that feels like a $100 billion company. Maybe everything just feels like a $100 billion company these days. But I'm buying here at, at 50 billion If you, whenever it lists, if you can get in. I, I think that there's a lot more uh, upside than downside. So, uh, Matt Glantz, this is the new multi-million dollar daily printers for gamblers, people that are aping in and out of crypto are firing on Coinbase. And a lot of times I hear that their fee is just absolutely ridiculous. Like tw people buying in 20, 50 K paying $400 in fees for the Bitcoin. I mean, what do you think? You think this is worth it? You think this continues for years and years? Does this build value? Does this dump value? I think it's terrible for the public. I think that whether you buy on, you can buy crypto on PayPal, Coinbase, anywhere where you can buy from the US, you're getting robbed. I mean, you have to find a way to buy without fees or with very minimal fees. When you're paying, you know, 1% fees or something, you're just getting just so robbed. It's not worth it. So Coinbase as a valuation, 50 Bs? And to buy that IPO, I mean, I don't know. I, I really don't, I don't, I have no way to know how to value it. That is our resident trader sticking true to his guns. If it's not in motion, if there's not somebody aping in, Tony, you think this? Uh, you think this crap is valuable? Well, Coinbase IPO, yeah, you can make money on it, but I think Coinbase is going to do their own token drop. That'd probably be a better way to make money off of Coinbase's success is to buy their token. Eventually, the whole crypto market won't. It won't matter if a company has a stock ticker because their value will be in crypto and the value in crypto is in its decentralized nature. So 
just buy the just get the Coinbase token in my opinion. The IPO will be tough to ride. Yeah, you know, whatever. Coinbase you'll make money on it, but I'm not excited about Coinbase. I, I don't know if they'll do the token. Does it exist? Does it exist? Well, he's saying they're going to do one, and they might. But but once you're on the Nasdaq, I feel that the path to a token is is more difficult. Same thing if they already did the token, the path to getting listed on the Nasdaq would be more difficult. Also, yeah, but, fair enough. But I would say if you want to get into an IPO like situation or invest in an exchange, go to any exchange. Go to FTX and buy the FTT token. That's been doing really well this year. I mean, it's a great yeah. way to profit off the exchange. So yeah, Mike uh, loves that one. They might do a token. I, I'm just not 100. percent Yeah. Uh, speaking of bags, why don't you open up? The Market Mania Mailbag. Mailbag incoming. Here's one from Rick Ruffman. Uh, what's a good way to hedge against the upcoming deflation of appreciable assets? If I understand that correctly, you're just asking, how do I get out from underneath this free fall? Well, <laughs> silver and crypto, bullets and guns, <laughs> plant a garden. That's, what, that's the plan now. That's 2021 plan. If a vampire or a werewolf or any other like 1800s, you know, like monster character comes at you, you got all this silver. So even if you're not the one using the crossbow to take them down, somebody else is going to need to sell them the shovels. Right? That's right. Same. Got another one from uh, Justin Stein here. How are the two dollar weekly puts for AMC trading at three dollars? AMC was two fifty to three dollars before any pumps started. Uh, that doesn't sound correct, but no, yeah, Matt's, I know Matt's uh, covered this stuff before. That's that's not happening. There's no there's no two puts trading for over two dollars at AMC. It just doesn't happen. I don't. I, he might be mistaken. Trading at eleven cents. Uh, you know, got him up right here. Three cents for the February fives for the two dollar puts on AMC. Not gonna hit. <laughs> Probably not gonna hit. And then finally, I just uh, wanted to mention uh, uh, Daniel. Quit trading, whoever that was. Just quit. Just quit. <laughs> just uh, kidding. Daniel and forget Bonnet, about uh, I saw your tweet earlier today that CCIV, uh, you were hearing some rumors about that. So I just wanted to redirect our viewers to the CCIV ticker. That could be a, a big one. And Daniel, way to be on top of that and be tweeting about it. So that's so it's important cool. to update update them on the price. CCIV is up another 13% today, up 330 to $28.63 right now. Um, that's one of our big picks. I think I think it's been my pick of the day twice in the last couple of weeks since from like $18 or something. Um, yeah, there. you know, this is the, the one, the SPAC that's likely to merge with Lucid Motors, which is, you know, I keep saying it, it's the holy grail of EVs. So I love this one. Um, the, the thing is, the stock is up so much now on these rumors they're going to merge with Lucid. I wouldn't, even though I'm lo that's my biggest position, I'm long CCIV, I wouldn't necessarily recommend anyone, you know, just aping in right now at 2865. There's just more, less risk, or more risk, less reward at this price. Uh, but if you listen to us, it got in last week or the week before, much cheaper. You know, I'm holding. I, I love it. It's a gamble. Spreads on swole. Lucid is advertising at the Super Bowl, according to DQ Correct. Stio on Twitter, too. So. Yeah, so a lot of people think that they're going to announce a deal before the Super Bowl, which is this weekend, because they want to, uh, you know, they, they, they want to show this commercial and, and be big time and, and get headlines and kind of steal some of the steam away from Tesla. So this is the way to do it. Um, and hopefully the deal gets done this week. And, and the thing is, if the deal gets done this week, I think you're going to see the stock over 40. Um, so it's it's a great gamble. But if this if they announce there is no deal and they think uh, the talks break apart, that stock could be down to $11, $12 in a jiffy. In Mark a jiffy. Cuban doing an AMA on Wall Street bets today. Billionaires getting involved, $8.2 on that sub. And on that note, unless is the mailbag closed? Last call for bags? None? All right. Six for the day? It is time to move with your safety glasses on, ladies and gentlemen, to the Market Mania pick of the day. Matt Glance, hit us with the pick. What is my pick? Today? Oh, CCL, Carnival Cruise. Um, I'm not a cruise buyer. I don't like these stocks. I never really trade them, but... Some guys, sharp guys, have been coming in and buying the 20 calls, the 21 calls, the 22 calls all morning in size, 5,000 lots, 3,000 lots. 
So they know something that I don't know. So I bought some stock um, around 1950. I think it's 1940 now, but I think that's a good bet for today. See what happens tomorrow. All right. We got cruises. They're going to announce sailing starts again sometime, and they're going to pop when they do. IMO, not investment Sharp advice. guys usually know something, Mike. On. It's true. Brett Ritchie, pick of the day. I'm rolling with Amazon here. I think people kind of had their fun in the in the meme stocks. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are selling. That money is going to look for, I think, maybe something significantly more safe or secure. And you have Amazon earnings, so you get a little sweat on top of like a regular safe bet. And and I'm also just, it's probably they're probably going to post a good quarter too. So I think it's like a pretty safe play with some upside. Amazon. I like the gamble, right. Brett. I like it. Worst comes to worst, you got shares of Amazon. How bad could you be? If yeah, you have exactly. Money? I mean, I'm going to go with a similar longer term non meme stock play of NVIDIA. Just it's not something that anybody's everybody always thinks they missed the boat on NVIDIA because the price is shot up. And honestly, it's just like Amazon. Worst comes to worst, you got shares of NVIDIA. And like these, these aren't just your gamer chips anymore. This shit's going to run AI and it's going to be in autonomous driving vehicles. They're using GPUs for everything. NVIDIA didn't set out to capture a wider, crazy AI market like 10 years ago, but that's what's happened. They were used for mining, any ETH miners. And I mean, there's just crazy huge uses for GPU. And this company is going to be one of those apes. apes Can I just say, guys, how happy I am? Our three picks of the day are CCL, Carnival Cruise, Amazon, and NVIDIA, three major stocks in the stock market. No, that that crypto shit today. Let's None fuck it up. I mean, First Bitcoin, time ever. Oh, don't worry. The whole the whole story for Market Mania is going to be the move to Bitcoin as we <laughs> go forward and as markets get rigged and people figure it out. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for February 2nd, 2021. Markets are crazy. It's going nuts. Everything's crazy right now. We're going crazy. And just because it got bumped... From last week, we're going to end with a little Lupe Fiasco kick push. Closes out Lupe week from last week. Something like this. My man got a little older, became a better roller. Yeah, no helmet. Hell bent on killing himself is what his mama said, but he was feeling himself. Got a little more swagger in the style. Like and subscribe right here on YouTube and follow us at Market Mania Show on both Twitter and TikTok for all the kids out there. We will see you tomorrow, if there is a tomorrow. But for now, it's lights out. Lights out. Time to right the wrong, so your hands in the air if you like the song. If you're going over there, take it twice as long. Last time ain't talking about Tylenol, oh. I bet you'd like to know, you can come around the way if you're trying to go. If you want to switch lanes for a pot of gold, number domino, out of control. The usual, get mad cause I'm looking at your girl. Switch it up. I do it so much louder than everything you've heard. Everybody heard, got the word that the world wasn't turning. Act like you're in a jury, power of attorney, where I would turn it. Can't allow like this is to be burning. Don't act like you're in a daze. I imagine it'll look the other way. Couldn't clear space, and my mind was afraid of the time. So black, like in the moonlight. I'm in the mood right now, how about tonight? My interview's tight now, I was about.